Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on working with strings and memory management in fourth. Alright, so let's get started. To begin with, to install G fourth, you'll first have to do sudo apt get apt install G fourth, something like that. If you're on if you're on Ubuntu, that's how you'll do it. If you're on wait, let me just open a new terminal. If you're on an Arch-based distro, or in my case, Manjaro, you'll have to do yay-s, so you'll have to use the AUR to install for it, so yay-s, gforce, and if you're on macOS, you'll have to do something, brew install gforce. Right, so just use your package manager, you can even compile it from source, do whatever, right? I'm not too sure how, if it's possible to do this on Windows, but whatever. Um, just use a VM or something like WSL Windows subsystem for Linux to install forth. Right. Once that's set up, um, I strongly suggest before watching this tutorial, since it delves into the slightly more complex topics of forth, you watch a forth tutorial. I forgot the person's name. It's Bitsurfer. Yeah. These tutorials are truly amazing on forth. That's even how I got introduced and learned forth. Right? So these tutorials are really good, the fourth programming language introductions, and later he even teaches people how to create their own fourth language. So this is pretty amazing. Now in my case, I'll be talking on a topic that he doesn't cover in his tutorial series, which is on memory management. He touches on it in some stuff, for example, he touches on, uh, he uses detecting inputs or like variables, which all like touch on me uh, memory management and working with strings but don't like really do much on it so I'm gonna be working on that also I get I got all my like information on this on the wait once what is it G force manual right oh no spell it right G force manual compline so over here if you just search up G force manual click on the first thing this is truly amazing it has this super in-depth manual on every single thing you can think of in my case, if I just control F memory, and I have it all here. So, in my case, I'm using things from these dictionary allocation, heap allocation. These are all amazing stuff to look at to see how to really work with uh, work with memory. All right, let's get started. So, once you've installed it, once you've seen the basics of fourth, uh, just simply type in G fourth. Right, you're in fourth now. And to first of all create a string in memory, you do s quotation mark space and now the string. So hello there, right? Hello there. Dot s, and now it's in. Um, now it's on the stack. Now you might be wondering, what is all of this, right? What is it? Well, this is simply the memory address of the string, and the 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 length of the string. So using this function basically adds two values. So the memory address of the string and the uh, the length of the string. Now let's say I want to print out this string, right? I can simply do to dupe. Now what is to dupe? It just basically duplicates the top two values. So if I just do to dupe dot s, um, as you can see, it just duplicated the top two values on the stack, right? To dupe, and then let's do type type and it types out hello there so it takes the two values it inputs them in and then prints out what the values actually are and it says it's hello there right so now I have my values back this time. right um, now first of all I'm just gonna quickly swap I'm gonna assign this to a variable now the syntax might look kind of odd but I'll quickly walk through it but as again strongly suggest watching this video if you're unsure about the syntax for the course variables or just see the documentation right um so i can just do variable variable string right let's just create a variable called string then let me just do string exclamation mark dot s string exclamation mark all that does is it takes the value on the stack and assigns that to the variable so first of all i create a variable called string then it takes the top value of the stack and assigns it to um, the variable. So if I do something like string question mark, which just basically prints out the value of the variable, 
it gives out this value 942 whatever the memory location was so now the variable string has the memory location right if i want to just print it out i can do something string at to get the uh the value of the variable right let me just quickly swap uh to duplicate type right hello there there we go right now let me just again remove these two so let me just swap actually so now we have the value let's say how do we manipulate the value right so right now when we type it out we get hello there so since we assign the string to, with a lowercase h now let's see how do i make it a capital h right a pretty simple thing now let's say i'm doing this in c for example right so i just have a, a random file here so first of all i just create a string uh, allocate 100 100 bytes to it let's say i want to uh, put the value string equals to copy actually let me just do chorus dot string equals hello there right now i have that so i create a pointer and of a character and then i assign it to hello there now let's say i want to change the value here so i can just do star string so i dereference the pointer and change it into h if you don't understand c don't worry about it but this will it will be pretty helpful to understand a lower level of to have some lower level knowledge on how memory works right so star string so i dereference the pointer and change the value to a capital h wait this has to be a lowercase h right if i change the value to a capital h so star s comma string right if i just paste this so it's basically gonna print the string two times right so wait, if i just go back there so first of all it creates the string variable with hello there then it prints it out so it should say just hello there then it changes the first value so the pointer's value dereferences the pointer and changes it to a capital h and then it prints that out again and then it just ends the program right so for gcc main dot c dot slash a dot out segmentation fault oh i should probably just use this once again now with 100 bytes right string equals string copy um string comma hello there right oh actually i don't really need that okay right i just quickly changed this i allocated 100 bytes um it just it's just better better practice such so a dot out oh wait what do they do now oh wait one second i'm gonna just change that to a lowercase h gcc main dot c dot slash a dot out okay there we go right so first it creates the string with a lowercase h then it prints it out then it changes it dereferences the pointer value and then changes it to a capital H and then it prints the new string out. So as you can see, it changed the top value of the pointer to capital H, hello there. Now, what we're gonna try doing is something similar, but in fourth. All right, so let's do it, right? So I have this here. Now, first of all, uh, let's quickly look at the documentation. So if you go to memory address, so over here, if you just memory access, I'm sorry. If you go to this area of the documentation, you have lots of info on how to access uh, a memory location. So in my case, I want to access the character stored in the address, right? So C at will do that. So if I just do C at, right? If I do C at dot S, it returns 104. Now, what's 104? Well, that's just um, an ASCII character or oh, ASCII character to oh, AS 104, which is H, right? So 104 in ASCII is H. So that's where it returns that. In my case, I can just do emit, and as you can see, 104 is equals to H. So what did C at do? It basically just dereference the pointer and get the character assigned to it. So the character assigned to it was H. Right. Now let's say I want to change that to um, 
I want to change that to a capital H, right? Like I did in this program where I changed it to capital H. Well, then I simply, let me first of all just bring back the variable, so string at. Then if I go back to memory, ac memory access, you can see over here, C exclamation mark stores the C value into the character at C address, right? And you can see the way it works. So it takes the value and then stores it into the address. So let's say if I go into an ASCII chart, what is capital H in ASCII? Capital H is wait, ca uh, capital H. 72, right? 72 is uppercase H. So uh, I can do 72. Let me just add that to the stack. Dot S. Let me just quickly swap it around. So dot S. Right, so 72, and I want to assign it to this pointer value. Now, if I do C exclamation mark dot S, it just basically assigns 72 to this pointer value. So if everything worked out well, it should have basically made the string start with a capital H instead of a lowercase h. Right, so if I just uh, quickly put this string back onto the stack, swap to duplicate type, right? So I'm just going to print it out. So two duplicate type, and as you can see over here, it's changed the lowercase h to capital H. So for this, we use the C exclamation mark, which dereferences the pointer and changes the value of the pointer. So that's how to do some basic memory manipulation. Now, let's say you want to change the value of an array right? instead of doing C, um, instead of doing C exclamation mark, you would do something like just normal exclamation mark to change like um, to change an integer's value. If it was like a float, I'm pretty sure you do something like, wait, what is it? Float exclam F exclamation mark or something? Wait, let me just quickly get to it. Yep, e F exclamation mark. Or, yeah, F exclamation mark. You get the point, right? In the case of a string, we obviously have to change it to a character, so C exclamation mark does the job. Right? Now, let's look at something a bit more complex. Right? So if we do string add, um, it's 11 characters long, so I'm just going to add 11 to duplicate type. So it does hello there. Right? That's the value of it. Now, let's say I want to change the hello there to hello there with a capital T. How would that work? Right, so some more string manipulation. Well, again, we can basically the way it'll work is we'll increment the pointer to get there, then we'll replace the T character with capital T, and then we'll decrement the pointer again. So let's see how it's done in C. Right, so I have this here. Right now, if I want to if I want to change the T to a capital T, what I'll do is star. Let's do string plus 6 is equals to t, right, string plus 6. The reason I'm using 6 is because from the first value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so to be on the t, and then change that to an uppercase t. Let's see if it works. Let me also just print this after here, gcc main.c dot slash a dot out. And as you can see here, the final one it prints is a capital T. So let's get started, right? How do I do this? So let me first of all swap it. Oh no, what did I do now? <sighs> okay, let me just quickly, I put an error so the stack got cleared. So string adds, let me put the value back on, put 11 since that's a length, and just swap it so I'm working with the memory address right now. Now, I just simply need to increment the pointer by six, like I did over here. So mvent main.c, right? Um, I change the value of the pointer plus 6. So what I'm going to do is do 6 plus, right? So to increment the pointer of, increment this pointer by 6. So 6 plus, right? Um, 6 plus, and well, that should simply, so as you can see, the pointer's value is uh, increased by 6, so it's now 62. Now, if I do something like, um, what is capital T in, in ASCII? Oh, wait, uppercase T, uppercase T in. 
All right, so that's 84, right? So 84 is uppercase T, so dot S. Let me just swap these around, dot S. And now we can use the same function we did previously, which is C exclamation mark, right? So I have the new value and then the pointer I want to change. So the new value is 84, which is uppercase T. And I want to change this, which is um, which is already, so if I have this, the previous thing was hello there. The pointer used to start off there, but since I added six, it goes six to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it changes this value. So it changes the lowercase t into capital T, right? So now if I do C exclamation mark dot S, it gets rid of that. And well, hopefully it should work. So I'm just gonna, so hopefully the value of the pointer has changed. So I'm gonna simply do string at dot S let us do type. Let's do actually two duplicate type so we don't erase these current values. Two duplicate type. Oh no. Have I done? Have I done? Oh wait, sorry. This should be swapped around. Two do type. Hello there. So now as you can see, the T is also capital. So that's how we manipulated the memory to make the T capital. You can do a lot of other things. I'm just touching the surface honestly. There's a lot more you can do. You can move memory around. You can allocate memory. So where's allocating memory? Wait, let me find it. A, a lot. You can get like address of unused memory. You can do a lot of memory management in this with using fourth. Uh, you can do almost most of the things C can in terms of memory management, but it works slightly different memory in this since it's all stack based and some more. But um, that's how to do some basic memory management with C and working with some strings, right? Alright, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.